What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Anyway, I'm not sure exactly what all we're going to be doing today or if I'm going to actually finish filming today, but I figured I'd give you guys a little update on the pigeons and the turkeys and all that good stuff. So, you know, let's go see what they're doing. Moved all the, all the little guys over in with the bigger group now. So all of them are together. What's up, guys? It's a little dark still. Sorry about that. Yeah, very talkative, aren't you? All right, well, time to water. It's amazing to me like how fast these little buggers grow. The big one, he's only two weeks older. Like, look at the size difference. These guys are like huge. Well, anyway, they're doing good. I've only lost a couple of them, so feel good about that. Now let's go see what the pigeon are doing. I almost forgot one very important thing when you're raising turkeys like this. Don't leave your buckets in here because if you do, what they do is they fly, they jump on the edge, they jump in, and they just keep doing that. And they pile up, up on top of each other. And once you've got so many of them piled on there, they just squish the bottom ones and they suffocate and they, it's, it's bad. Either way, you're gonna lose a bunch of birds. I'm gonna lose a bunch of birds if I'm not careful. So, outside they go. Well, it's kind of overcast today. And so it's not really shining bright enough to really see in the loft at all. So we'll go check them guys out later. Hey guys, it's actually a couple days later. I didn't get to make any more content since then. Gonna try today. So I'm gonna show you guys the pigeons while it's still light now. I need to make a door for this thing. I just haven't got around to it. I've been too busy working on, on the big loft up there. But something cool happened the other day. My black pair of Modinas that I still need to pick the name for, I'll, I'll get to that. Decided, woo mama. Laid an egg, and she's a little uh, protective. I like that, boy. Anyway, hi mama. I'm gonna try and leave her alone, but I need to get inside, but for some reason, they literally made the nest right inside the door. I mean, not helpful. So, uh, whoa, hey, I'm trying to leave you alone here. Gee, come on, calm down. Anyway, I wanna go see if they're uh, is any eggs from the owls up there. The other pair of Modinas, this uh, Grizz hen here, I'm not sure which one of the blacks, I think that, yeah, that one right there. That black right there is her mate, and they've been hanging out in this one. No eggs yet, but they've been, they've been working on it, I'm pretty sure. I hope the frizzles down there, the, those two, I'm hoping they're getting, getting into it because uh, they've been hanging out at that nest. I really like some more of frizzles. I don't know, can you guys see, is there an egg? I can't see, so I'm just gonna have to do the whole feel here. You guys already knew that, but there's nothing. Kinda hard to see them, but I like the old German owls there. All right, all right, mama, I'm, I'm leaving. Leave me alone, I'm just leaving. Just, just leaving, okay? Good luck with the egg. All right, well, that's that side. We'll, uh, we'll go check out all the ferals. Actually, if you guys follow Bob's channel, if you guys don't know who Bobby Guy is, most of you do, but there's a few that probably don't, go over and check his channel out. Um, he's been doing a lot of pigeon trapping. He's got a little loft himself. He actually just had a couple of babies hatch. Um, got some whites and some grizzlies, you know, fun stuff. Kind of hard to see, but he dropped off a few just plain old feral street pigeons the other day. So I'm going to go in there and check them out. I need to refill their water and stuff anyway. So we'll go look at them. Well, these guys being wild pigeons, they've only been in here a couple hours, half of them anyway. There's six that just got dropped off today. I'm guessing those three are three of them. Four. I'm guessing a little squeaker over there is probably one also. Get over here where you guys can see. But they're just plain old wild pigeons. But what I'm planning on doing 
is I'm going to take them up to the big loft, which I'll show you here in a little bit. It's not done yet. It's getting there, but I'll give you guys a little update on that. What my plan is, take them up there, let them do their thing. Let them breed. And what I want to do is calm down, dude. Like, seriously, I'm trying to vlog here. So rude, you know, these wild birds. Um, but what I'm planning on doing is once they start nesting and getting that rhythm down, getting in a routine, um, just used to the whole thing and reproducing well, is I want to use them as foster birds for my fancy pigeons. So like uh, the Modena that has that egg down there, once she would have two of them, I would find a pigeon nest that has eggs in it about the same time, swap them out or just either add an egg. I don't, I'm not real fond of that, but I'd probably take the eggs, give them the fancy pigeon eggs and let them raise those. That way I can, you know, grow the fancies faster. And the old German owls, they have a really short beak, makes it a little bit harder for them to feed. And so it's a little bit better to have some of these, uh, these wild pigeons do the raising for them because they just feed better. But anyway, that's, that's sort of this little, little loft here. It's nothing fancy, but it's another spot to put stuff. Okay, we are up, pardon the mess here. I got a bunch of junk that was here from the previous owner. And uh, I need to get it cleaned out. Straw's mine though. It's not much prettier. I am no builder. I have nothing to do with construction. I am horrible at it, so please, I did my best. So please don't hit me too hard on, on the outs all put together here. But here, ouch, I hit my head on that. This is my little fenced off area. So I haven't measured it yet, but I know it's, it's 20 foot wide. Um, I'm guessing, since those are probably about four foot, I'm guessing it's probably 20 by 12, something like that. But anyway, it's just a little loft. I'm gonna make a door for right here. It'll swing over here. So I got all this pretty close to done. It's, it's not finished yet. I still need to button some stuff off and whatever there. I put nesting, I went and cut some buckets in half and I screwed them up there, put some straw in them so it's already kind of pre-bedded for the nest. I had a few things up here already. Need to put some more roosts in or perches, you know, stuff like that. And I also think up here, I think that they would nest if I let them. So I'm thinking about putting some two by fours up here just to give them another spot. You know, we can never have too many options for them to, to have nesting opportunities. So, but that's kind of how uh, the big loft is so far. It's, it's not finished yet, but it is getting a lot closer. What I'm planning to do is with this other half here, I'm planning on getting some goats at some point to help keep my mess of a pasture down. As you can see, there's just a lot of weeds and stuff out there. So I need a few goats to keep all that down for me because I don't want to mow it. The reason I don't want to mow it is I raise meat, I raise meat turkeys for Thanksgiving and we butcher a bunch of those off. And what'll happen is if I go through and I mow it, it leaves you know a stem or a stalk of all the bigger weeds. And when that dies off, the turkeys actually get big enough that they'll go out and they'll sit down and they'll get puncture wounds into the breast meat. And then it makes scars and scar tissue. It can get infected, they get hurt, they could die. Lots of bad stuff. And so I really, really don't want to just mow it. It causes problems for my birds. So I'm hoping if I get some goats in there that they'll just knock a bunch of it down, eat a bunch of it up, and they'll uh, take care of a bunch of my problems for me. But haven't gotten that far yet. So, you know, one step at a time. But anyway, the long, I gotta stop hitting my head on stuff. The long and short of why I went to that story is, is I need a little space up here to put hay. So I thought if I would build my other side here, starting with this right here and build that way, it'd be about two thirds of this side over here that I would be able to have two lofts and have space to put a bunch of hay for the ghost during the winter. That's the idea anyway. Will it happen this year? Maybe, maybe not, but it's worth a shot. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's for the update of the loft here. Today is the day that Bobby uploaded his uh, introduction to his new baby pigeons, and he caught those six barrels that he dropped off that I showed you guys down there. And he's been transporting the pigeons in a bucket. We gotta, we gotta fix that. It, that's just hard on stuff during the summer. And so we're gonna make him a little cage, and that way he has something to actually carry the birds in. I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and build a cage. And I'll show you guys a really easy, simple way to build cages. Cages are so easy, you guys. I'm going to do a how to build a pigeon trap video. Um, there's been a bunch of you guys that have requested it. It just takes some time. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna build one of those. So I'm gonna be filming two videos. You guys have to come back for the how-to video if you wanna see that one. And uh, we're gonna build a cage for Bobby for transporting. And we're gonna build a couple of pigeon traps that'll be in a different video. So you guys hang around. We'll build that and you guys check it out. So I found a piece of wire that was from a previous project. I was just sort of laying around, which was convenient because I didn't really want to cut into my big roll. I got a big roll here for pigeon trap stuff and another roll for uh, the tops, but I'll show you guys that in a bit. So what I did here is I cut a piece off of my scrap stuff. This here is one by two welded wire. It's what I like to use for pigeon stuff and pigeon traps because they can't get out of it. They don't get stuck. What I'm planning on doing is making a 12 by 14 inch square cage for them. So I don't have a fancy metal break or wire break like uh, I'd like to. I don't build enough cage stuff to really justify that. So I use the poor man version, which is a board and a hammer. So what I do is I'm going to, I'm gonna count off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And what I do is I put my board right at the edge where I want. I'll bend that up and hit it with the hammer to make all my corners. So I don't have any of those fancy wire clips. Um, I used to have one, I have no idea where it went. I think I lost it when I moved. I do it the hard way which is your little bits of wire that you have that are sticking out. You just bend them around the corners. It takes a little while, but it is a strong hold. I'm gonna get these all wrapped up and then I'll show you the next part. I'm gonna try and show you how I bend these wires here. I'm not sure if I can be able to do it one-handed here or not. But what I did is I just went and took it from straight. I bent it around the underside so it is sticking out like that. Grab it and then I just bend it around like that. That's about as good as I can get by trying to watch where the camera is focused. I know it's all the way over on the one side, please forgive me. So I'm gonna do that with all of these and then uh, we'll put a top and a bottom in. This is for the bottom. This is one by two, sorry, that's one by two. This is one by half inch welded wire. I pick a smaller one, that way their feet don't go through it as easy anyway. It's better for them to walk around on. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually inset it down one spot. That way when he goes to set it down on the truck bed or something like that, their feet don't get rubbed off or their toes don't get caught, stuff like that. There's a little bit of gap between the ground and their feet. So I finally got the bottom put in. As you can see, there's a two inch gap and I put a couple of wires on here and then on the other side, I bent them around. Now I gotta get my top made. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut a section out, put it at the top, put a door in it, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. I finally got the top on. Lots of wire bending. It's a little crude. Um, I think I might cut a door actually in the side, that way I can put a carrying handle on top. Six inches high, maybe about six inches wide, make a nice little square, put a little door on there. Hopefully it'll work out the way I think it will. So guys, um, this has been a fairly boring video. I feel really bad about putting it out, but it's what I got and what I did. Hopefully you guys can take something from it. I really hope so anyway. But anyway, what I did here, I stole a handle from an old five gallon bucket, put it on there, and here's my door. I'm gonna go get a snap to put on there. Either that or I'll make Bobby buy one. But it's just a simple hinge. I just went and bent the wire around sort of loosely and uh, it'll be enough to hold it on there. It won't hold, you know, a pig or anything like that, obviously. But uh, a pigeon, it'll do fine. So we'll just connect it there. And uh, that should work pretty good. Nothing fancy, but uh, it'll definitely do the job. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure the next video will be a whole lot better than this one. And uh, I'll, I will get to that pigeon trap video. I promise. Thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one.